Headlining shows at the CGI Rochester International Jazz Festival are back at Kodak Hall at the Eastman Theater this year. And on the first weekend, they'll include a blues artist who's played there before. The festival is excited to welcome Kev Mo back, and we're excited to welcome him here today. Kev, thanks for joining us. How are you feeling going into this? I'm feeling very good. That's good. I'm That's good. I was, looking, I, was, I was just looking to the, to the, the, the date, then, and, and, and I was thinking, like, well, I guess um, it's the last day in our run, so we should be pretty warmed up by the time we get to Rochester. Do you get tired after uh, that many performances in a row? No. <laughs> tired? No. <laughs> oh, no. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I mean, I, mean I'm, I, I there's, there's times when I should probably go home, you know, but but I, I, I usually just get into, like, um, I'm just happy to be, you know, happy to be, I like what I do. That's good. So you have to kind of make me go home. <laughs> Kevin, we got to go home. You got to go home now. Really, you got to go. Yeah. So. Uh, Kev Mo is a stage name. How did that nickname come about? That's that, that's what happens when you say Kevin Moore real fast. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you had that nickname? Uh, probably anywhere from as long as I can remember. I've probably had that name, the nickname since I was a kid. But I never, I, I, was, I just looked at it as my name, not as a nickname. Okay. All right. So um, I, I was going through the interviews from uh, the Rochester uh, Jazz Festival. And in a previous interview, you said, quote, I'm still breathing and I'm still hungry. I'm still out there going for it every day. Can you kind of elaborate yeah. on what you mean by hungry and going for it every day? Well, I just... I love what I do, and I just want to do the best job I can do. Hungry, hungry. I'm not. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm like. You know, I'm just. I just love doing what I do, and I just want to do it well. I know I'm not maybe the best, but but I'm the best me. And if I can bring the best me forward, that's what it is. I'm not really competing with anyone else. I'm just being myself and trying to be my best self. That seems like such good advice for anyone, um, but you know, especially musicians. What would be your biggest piece of advice to any young musician who might be going to this festival? We know there are going to be quite a few high schools and colleges who will be performing. So when they get up there and, and see you on stage, what do you want them to, to take away from it all? Do your best bask in the moment. Because every moment you build in your life, you're building the building blocks of, and your happiness. So just, that's what I would say. For Take you, every moment seriously. For you, are you happiest when you're on stage playing? I'm happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is something you have to be. You know, it's like, you know, if you're waiting for something to make you happy, a situation or a person or something, you know, I'm I'm happy just if I'm not if, if if I'm just I just I just feel good you know I'm, I'm, I got my health I've got my uh, you know my guitar you know uh, it's a simple life for me it's very simple for me do it do what I love and just the rest the rest just takes care of itself uh, for me performing is I'm I'm um, taking everything so seriously and it is I am working and but I'm not working <laughs> but uh, but I, I um, there's a kind of an edgy nervousness that I get that's not about being nervous it's about being wanting to really do my best and get everything right fantastic well Cadmo thank you so much for joining us uh, best of luck at the show. We all can't wait to see you perform, and uh, we're really honored that you took the time to talk with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. We'll be right back.